What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And if you ever wanted to tether without bringing your laptop around and just wanted something a little bit more convenient, then this is the video for you. Today, I'll be telling you how I tether on my iPad. Now, the iPad that I use is an iPad Pro. You don't need to have this, but you need an iPad that takes USB-C. Actually, you don't need an iPad with USB-C, but it's just what I recommend. And the reason why is because the lightning cables is just, you gotta have that dongle. And I never used it, so I can't really vouch for it. You know, in the comment section below, if you're getting away with doing this with the lightning cable one, just let us know, we'll probably link something there that they can use to adapt it, right? Now, let's go into the way I carry the iPad. Now, I use this case right here, and it has these straps that go over my shoulders. And because the iPad is so light, I'm telling you, you won't even know that it's there. So I highly recommend this. Now, one thing I do do is it comes with a, a plastic coating, but even with my phones and everything else, I don't like that. Um, just because these you know, screens are amazing. And the last thing I want to do is, you know, take away from the quality of it. So I actually ripped mine out. So this is act like this is naked, right? And one thing it does do is get a lot of fingerprints, but the quality just looks so much better that that's just what I do. Now let's talk about cables, right? Because you may think you need an expensive tether tool cable. And I mean, if you have the money for it, go ahead on and get it. But the one that I recommend is the one that I use. And I got it from Amazon. It was a little under $20. Uh, it works phenomenally, right? Now, one thing I will say is one side is straight and the other side is like a L shape. And the reason why I do this is because it just makes holding it in your hand that much better. I used to use a tether tool cable that was just straight out. And, you know, eventually I run into problems where it keeps coming out the USB hole. And now my USB USB hole is a little wonky because of that, but the L shape one just fits so much better in your hand. You can like, you know, hold it up against it while you do that. Now, let's move into the apps, right? Now, there's two apps that I recommend, one being Evoto, and let's talk about that for a little second. The thing about Evoto is it is a credit-based system, right? But a lot of people get this mixed up. They think that every time you take a photo, it takes a credit. No. When you export the photo, it takes a credit. So let's just say you have one credit available. Well, you can tether as much as you want without worrying about any of that because you won't get charged that credit until you export. Now, one downside about Evoto is the fact that you have to have internet connection. That's just the way Evoto works. So you can do your skin retouching, all of the AI edits. Another good thing about this is once you apply that, what it will do is apply it to every photo that you take and it's lightning fast i'm telling you you can take so many pictures and it just goes 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 as long as that usb cable is the right one once again link in the description for everything that i'll mention now let's go into the second app the second app that i use is capture one and don't get me wrong i know all of you lightroom people out there like i don't like capture one this and the third but i'm just going to be honest i use lightroom myself but when it comes to tethering nothing beats capture one let me say that again nothing beats capture one the speed the color all of that is phenomenal right now the thing about the capture one ipad app is you can get it for a subscription of 4.99 a month that's four dollars 99 cents a month i have no affiliate links or anything like that you just gotta bite that bullet okay 4.99 is what you will pay for that app now it's worth it and the reason why you i really like it is because you don't need that internet connection, right? Like Evoto. So in Evoto, if you're in a studio or with Evoto, if you're in a studio and you have internet in the studio, you're fine. But what about when you're outside? What about when you're on location? That's where Caption One really shines. Now, of course, you can use, you know, your tethering if you have an iPhone connected or Android, pretty sure you can do the same thing. But with Caption One, you don't even have to worry about that. You can be offline, all of that. Now, a good thing about both of these apps is that they both uh save the photos to the ipad and to your card right so you kind of have like that dedicated backup no matter what now me having a mac mini in the studio what i do is i just airdrop the photos over there and you know do it like that or if you want you could just go ahead on and you can uh 
just you know go home and I'll go to the studio and put your card in and upload it the way that you always did before right now let's talk about outdoors right because that's where I feel like this really shines and I know you've been on location and the sun was just bright right and because it's so bright you're trying to get the model or the client to look through the EVF because you want her to see those photos the way it's going to look when it hits that computer and sometimes the back of your screen won't do it especially when the sun coming down unless you go find some shade and you know try to do it there but other than that you, you want them to look through that EVF. Well, with the iPad, especially the iPad Pro that I have right here, being so bright, that's never an issue. It's never a problem having them look at a screen so big um, out in the sun. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I shoot tethered to the iPad. And me, and listen, I'm a technical photographer, if that's what you want to call it. I'm more concerned with lighting. If I get like that pose right, I don't want them to move, right? So I tell them, don't move. And I bring it to them. Where before, if I was at, you know, the studio and they're looking at the monitor, they may have to come a little closer because they can't see it like that, right? But with the iPad, you can bring it to them. They can pinch the zoom. And I like to go by the motto of, it's better to have two eyes than one or not two. I mean, I got two eyes. I guess two two set of eyes are better than one. You get what I'm saying. Um, sometimes you may not catch things that the client will catch. Or, you know, it, whether it's insecurities or just like something that they don't like and they could adjust, right? Because I, like I said, I'm just tunnel vision when it comes to shooting sometimes that I miss some things and having a client be able to see it, pinch the zoom, see things that they need to adjust or even let me know what it is that they like and don't like so I could continue to take, you know, better photos as the shoot progresses. It's great for having the iPad. That's just, that's a, a luxury of using the iPad. Now, one thing that I will say when it comes to having this iPad and maybe you're not shooting tethered, but let's say like for instance, last week I was at a wedding and we had a little, about well, hour in the mission. What I did was I took all of the photos and I just backed it up on my, on, I was about to say my iCloud, on my iPad. And that way it just gives me another point of, you know, security or protection knowing that my files, nothing will happen to them. So that's another thing I like to do is just back up stuff on my iPad. Another thing too is since it has AirDrop and, and not even just AirDrop, but like I can email it or whatever. If you're doing an event and it's a photo that you take and maybe they want to share it to social media and you have no problem with it, right? You could just airdrop it to them or airdrop it to yourself and then send it to them, right? That's another luxury of shooting with the iPad, you know, being remote. Um, it's all in all, ever since I discovered tethering and, you know, everything like that to the iPad, that's all I do. A lot of people ask me questions about it and that's, that's just, that's why I love it. So to wrap things up, Shooting on an iPad isn't as difficult as it may seem. In fact, you may already have everything you need, right? You got your iPad, you got your cable, or if you don't, look in the description, less than 20 bucks. Got your camera, got a model. All you have to do is get one of the apps that I recommended, and you are set to go. So, this is Ryan Troy, and until the next video, peace.